this video we're going to use the circle ellipse and text tool so click new standard IPT and then we'll pick start new 2d sketch pick a plane and I'm going to pick the circle type I want the first is going to be a center point so I click and drag out there now if I want to make that concentric I click and drag now notice that it was the yellow dot and it turns green when I get right on top of it. So turning it green, pull out. See, there's one that didn't turn green. Now let's watch it put one that is green. Now see, that's concentric. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo those. So we have those. So I just wanted to demonstrate that. The next thing I want to do is make a tangent circle. But a tangent circle, you need to tell by this um, icon here, it requires three lines. So I'm going to use line, or I could use a shortcut L, draw three lines. Now go back and select tangent circle, select line one, and in the lower left hand corner it says select line two, select line three to create the circle. Boom, you have a circle and it has little tangent icons there. Next is the ellipse. I'm going to pick ellipse, click, drag, and then See, it changes the size depending on how far I drag. I'll do a one, let's say, on the diagonal. So I have that. Now, if I keep going, I can change the major axis the other direction. So click. Now I'm ready to go ahead and use my text tool. So I'm going to go ahead and type in center point circle. And click OK. Whoa, that's too big. So I hit escape to get out of the tool, double click on it, it'll bring it back up, highlight it, and then change it. Now the drop down doesn't have anything that's going to make things better for me, so I'm going to override to 0 0.05, and that looks about right. So now I'll go back to the text tool, I'm going to click, it's going to pop up again, I'm going to type in tangent circle, highlight the words if I know I'm already going to have to change them because it doesn't default to 0 0.05 and I'm going to click OK for that dialog and there that is. The last one is ellipse so the tool is still selected so I can just click this time type ellipse, highlight the words if I want to change the font size for them and I wanted to overwrite it 0 0.05 Okay, there it is. Now, I would like to, I want to hit escape because I'd like to move some of these things. See how it's not letting me move anywhere? I might want to use the move command. I'll click on that, click to where I want my base point to be, and then I can move it around wherever I want. So again, flick, select what I want to pick. So I'm going to hit, uh, Move, select one I want to pick, pick a base, point, and then that's where my, I'm going to use to go ahead and move. Click, done. Same for the next one. Move, pick what I want to move, pick my base point. See, it doesn't really matter where I pick it. So, click, done. And now I'm going to finish sketch, then save from the quick access button, quick access button, and save it as circle underline, oops, circle underline ellipse, underline your initials, and then click.